welcome to our Christmassy gadget show cinema room. What do you think, guys? Very nice. Cosy. It's delightfully atmospheric. I like the fire. Mm. More on that later. Mm. Now, we've each had a budget of 500 quid. We've each chosen a TV. Craig, it's your job to decide which is best. OK. I'll go first. Andy, wheel it in. Oh, it does need to be wheeled in. That is a big TV job. I'm going to need a bigger house. Let's reveal it. Now, I think size matters when it comes to TVs. <laughs> a big screen definitely gives you a more immersive, more involving viewing experience. And this is one of the biggest you can get for 500 quid. It's a Toshiba, it's LED backlit, it's 4K, and it has a colossal 65-inch screen. John, it's, it's quite imposing, uh, but the picture is really good, especially for a television that's less than 500 quid. Toshiba have definitely improved the uh, spec and quality of their budget TVs this year. It's got uh, localised dimming, it's got Dolby Vision, it's got Dolby Audio, uh, HDR10 support. If you want a big telly that will truly transport you to whatever you're watching, I think this would be a great shout. It's so big, it's a bit like going to the cinema. I don't have a problem with uh, a large TV, but if it is going to take up so much space, it has to be an attractive-looking um, screen when it's off as well. That, for me, is just a bit too ugly. Right, well, we won't give you it for Christmas, then. You won't have to, because I have brought my own. Ooh. Step aside, Mr Bentley. Andy! <laughs> All right, in it comes. Now, uh, mine is smaller than John's. Mine comes in at only 50 inches, but it's packed with goodness. This is the Philips Ambilight 50 PUS 8105. Now, the Ambilight refers to LEDs which are embedded in the back of the screen, which run around the rim just behind the bezel. Whatever's going on on the front, the LEDs behave in a similar way, giving you a nice reactive glow at the back of the screen. It also comes with Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and HDR 10 Plus. Oh, not just that, it's got Alexa built in. Now, I can see the Ambilight in action. I personally am not such a fan of it, though. I find it a little bit too distracting whilst I'm trying to watch the image. OK. I don't mind the Ambilight. I think the colour palette is actually better than the um, Toshiba. It's brighter, more optimistic, uh, richer colours. But it would be less imposing in a room, wouldn't it? I mean... This, this would definitely not dominate and sort of sit in its, in its own place without being too distracting, I think. I thought that was a lovely presentation, Otis. I think you've missed your calling. <laughs> uh, Georgie, you're up next. Come on, wheel it in. Uh, well, I don't need to wheel it in because it's already here in the fireplace. Ooh. So, this is the Samsung Frame QLED Smart TV. It's small, it's only 32 inches, but it's a really, really lovely TV. Now, we have actually featured the Frame before on the Gadget Show, uh, and one of its key selling points is the fact that it has this detachable bezel that makes it look like a picture frame, and it very simply just clips on via magnets, and you can do different colours uh, depending on how you want to style it in your room. Mm. So the trick is to make it look like a picture, uh, so you could display works of art, is that what...? That's exactly it. For £3.99 a month, you could subscribe to Samsung's Art Store, which gives you access to 1,200 pieces of art. For the main television room, I think that's slightly small, don't you? I don't have an issue with the size. You can find a room for it. The bezel aspect, I think, is, is brilliant. And if you could put pictures of your family in or that piece of art you bought, it's much nicer. What's the resolution? Uh, it's full HD, so it is in 4K, but I think with a TV that size, I don't think you need anything more than that. The colours are, are, are much better displayed there, but it's for a bedroom or a kitchen. Uh, I like yours, Otis. But if, for once, I do believe that size does matter. And I think the Toshiba, it's a real statement television. People are going to come in the room and go, wow, look at your telly. Yeah. Mm. So, John, I'm going with the Toshiba. Good effort, everyone, but it's not over yet. Later on, I'm going to ask you to find me a sound package to go with the telly yeah. for less than 250 quid, OK? Got you. OK. So, earlier on, the guy showed me three tellies, all for under 500 quid, and I had to decide which I like best. I went for John's Toshiba because of its mammoth 65-inch screen and its rather fine picture quality. Now, let's boost the audio. Each of us has chosen some kit for under £250. And again, it's your task to choose the best. OK. And he picked up the best one, my one. OK. 
the Roku Stream Bar. Yes, it is, and I've actually already set it up here. It may be compact, but this soundbar packs a punch. It's got four speakers built in, all with Dolby Audio, and it doubles up as a Bluetooth speaker, so you can just have it as your speaker in your sitting room if you want to listen to something. Right, let's take a listen. <laughs> It's got a nice sound to it. It's quite rich, don't you think? Well, it, it's good for its size, definitely. And price, may I add, because it's only £130. Can I just say, though, for the money, and if it's in a small room, that's going to be adequate. Yeah, mm. agreed. And this also comes with um, Amazon Prime, Disney and Netflix built in as well. Now, Otis, I'm assuming this is yours because of the size? You'd be correct in that assumption, my good man. OK. Overcompensating. Overcompensating. <laughs> Ah. Right, that is the Sony E4100. It's a 5.1 surround sound system, actually, with a Blu-ray player, so you get full HD on your discs and it will upscale DVD to near full HD. OK, look, that can't be... £250. <laughs> I might have gone slightly over budget uh, by £49. It's, it's £299. Quid. You get six speakers. You get the tower speakers left and right. You have a centre speaker here. You've got two rears, so one just beside you, yep. one just beside Georgie, and, of course, the subwoofer. 1,000 watts of power. To be fair, it's a lot of kit for £299, quid, isn't it? Mm. It is. Shall we have a listen? <laughs> yeah, mm. go on. All right. <laughs> Wow, this stuff just got real. It makes such a big difference having these speakers beside you and behind you. I agree it sounds better for being real surround sound. On the other hand, I'm not sure it's the best example of its kind I've heard. Ooh. OK, so, John, you said you may have heard better. Have you provided better? Well, I've certainly provided different. I've provided something for when the kids have gone to bed and you want to listen on your own with Mrs Charles. It's the One For All TV Audio Transmitter. Now, normally, uh, with TVs, you get a headphone socket at the back, you can connect a pair of headphones or you can connect a pair of headphones via Bluetooth, but this transmits the audio signal from the TV wirelessly to not one, but two pairs of wireless headphones. You'll find down by the side of your chair a pair of Bluetooth headphones. They are Urbanista Seattle headphones. They've got a 12-hour-plus battery life, so long enough for the uh, longest box set, and we can test things out. I've got a pair, too. Let's give it a whirl. OK. So, I guess this is the advantage of using something like this, is that, you know, they're both engrossed watching TV and we could be in the sitting room with them but not having to watch it. Yeah. Chatting, reading a book. John, you know what? It is fully immersive, but I'd feel uncomfortable watching telly with headphones on. And then there's, the, you know, the sort of social aspect of watching telly where you talk about what you're watching with your partner. You'd be like that all the time. What do you think of that, Hey, What? <laughs> <laughs> you know? I know, but there is that, yeah. Well, look, well done, guys. You've done me proud. Uh, but I've got to choose a winner. So, with its rich bass boom, I'm going to go for the Sony E4100. Bravo! So, we've chosen a fantastic telly and sound system, all for under 750 quid. Ah, hang on, 800 quid. Yeah, worth every penny, I'm sure you'll find. All right, let's have a sing-song, shall we? Let's... Ugh. 